Subjects and predicates. A complete sentence has two parts. One part we call the subject, and the other part we call a predicate. The subject is the naming part of the sentence, while the predicate is the telling part. To find the subject in a sentence, I need to ask myself who or what the sentence is about. To find out where the predicate is, I need to ask myself what is the subject doing? The dog chased after the ball. First, I ask myself who or what is this sentence about, and I know it's about the dog, so that means the dog is the subject. Now, what is the dog doing? He chased after the ball, so chased after the ball is the predicate. Here is a tip to help you find the subject and predicate faster. The subject could be a noun, proper noun, or a pronoun. The predicate always starts with a verb. Now let's together identify the subject and predicate in each of the following examples. Josh reads a book every day. Who is this sentence about? It's about Josh, so Josh is the subject. What is Josh doing? He reads a book every day, so reads a book every day is my predicate. Sam and Ben ate cupcakes at the party. Who is this sentence about? It is about Sam and Ben, both of them. So both Sam and Ben are the subject. What are they doing? They ate cupcakes at the party. So ate cupcakes at the party is the predicate. The baby elephant splashed his trunk in the water. The subject is the baby elephant because this sentence is talking about the baby elephant. What is he doing? What is the baby elephant doing? He splashed his trunk in the water. So that is the predicate. Notice how in all of the sentences, the subject could be either a noun, a pronoun, or a proper noun, and that every predicate started with a verb. Now you know that a complete sentence has to have a subject and a predicate. Thanks for watching.